Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Olaf. Uh, I've met some of you before. It's been a while since I came. Um, uh, thank you for the invite. Uh, thank you to Pastor Alex. And uh, he wanted me to share a little bit of what's been going on. Um, yeah, since last time, uh, you know, uh, so there's two parts to Project 180. Uh, one part is where we go out to San Francisco uh, once a month, every third Friday, and we go out and pass food. Um, so we just had that this Friday, and uh, where we did this time, we incorporated, because uh, we were always going out and just giving food and um, and clothing and stuff. Uh, but this time, uh, Dave, uh, the director of, of Project 180, he, we had people go out there and cut hair, cut people's hair. Um, we had... Washing, we were washing people's feet, and we also had music there. So we took a generator and we put a, a, a mic, and we had somebody playing the guitar. So it, it was it was an awesome time. Uh, we we also involved other ministries. Uh, I don't know if you heard of Teen Challenge, and some of those guys came out from Teen Challenge San Francisco, and they got involved with us, and they were able to serve, pray for people, and and they're also a vessel to get people off the streets. So that's one of the things we do, uh, you know, and when I think about going out to San Francisco, I think about uh, Luke 19.10 where it says, uh, for the Son of Man came to seek and save that which was lost. And so I know that we're going out there uh, trying to reach the lost, and, and, and uh, our motive is to get them off the streets and to get them into programs. And so Project 180 uh, uh, facilitates that for them. And, um, and then the second part of Project 180 is we have two homes. It's four duplexes. And uh, we try to get people that come out of programs or, or trying to get their life together um, to come into the house and disciple them and, 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 and involve them in the community. And so uh, it's been great. I, since I've been there, it's been three years. And there's been over 40 people come in and out. Uh, and, and to me, even the guys that sometimes mess up, there's, there's still a success rate because I feel like whatever impact as Christian Christians we make in people's lives, I, I believe that in retrospect, they'll look back and say, you know, I remember the time I was there at Project 180 and, and they helped me, you know, um, and even, you know, in, in the church body, I think anybody that we come into contact with, any kind of impact we make in their life, I feel like in retrospect, they'll look back and say, I remember brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so, they helped me, they prayed for me. You know, they gave me a cup, a, a cup of cold water. I think of Matthew 10, 42, it says that even if you give a cup of cold water to one of these little ones, truly I tell you that you shall not lose your reward. And so I, I believe that uh, that's what we're doing uh, at Project 180. And um, I thank you guys for help, too. Uh, whether you guys realize it or not, you know, I, uh, prayers is definitely a big thing. Like the brother was mentioning, is is vital, you know. Uh, uh, so I think the success of uh, at a personal level and in a bigger level that people are always praying for you, oh. and we need that. I, I definitely say that, and as a leader, I, I, I need it. You know, I, I don't shy away from prayer, so after service, if you guys want to pray for me, right. I, I would love that, that you guys pray for me, you know, because <laughs> I need it myself. And um, uh, also, um, you know, I know so, uh, you, have, you guys have uh, given financially as well, and also uh, you guys uh, have given uh, backpacks and uh, school supplies, and, and, and our gift cards to uh, some of the guys that have kids there, uh, you guys did that for five kids. And so, you know, some of these guys are coming in off, off programs that they don't have anything. And so, uh -huh. so that's uh, super helpful, uh -huh. you know, uh, for, for these guys that they want to rebuild that relationship with their children and, and maybe, you know, wives that they, it's been severed. Um, all that stuff really helps. So, you know, we appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, and anytime, uh, like I said, prayer is number one. Uh, you guys could get involved. Uh, you know, if you go on online, it's project180ministries.com, and uh, you guys can find us there. I also have cards. If you guys, uh, afterwards, you guys want a card, I could share that with you guys. Um, and so, yeah, it's a blessing. Uh, I really feel the Holy Spirit. I, I love the songs that you guys prayed. Those are uh, some of my favorite songs. Oh. I like hymns, and I like other kinds. But, yeah, it's great. It's great. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to pray with you. Thank you. All right. We pray with Olaf real quick, church. Join me. Father God, thank you so much, Lord, for Project 180, Lord. Thank you for Olaf, Lord God. Thank you for all those that would help along, would go alongside him, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for every hand that is involved. 
I thank you, Lord, because each of those breathe through your kingdom. Each of those give someone the opportunity to see what truth looks like, what love looks like, what it looks like to, 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 to be somebody, Lord, when you feel like you are nobody. Lord, we think and know in this world that money and things give us status. And, and, and Lord God, it really, it's about serving you. And Lord, thank you that people can see that no matter where they are, no matter what their, 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 uh, their lives are like, Lord God. They get an opportunity through Project 180 and, and things like that, Lord God, to see your love for them. I thank you for that, Lord. I pray again for Olaf, Lord God, and I pray that, that each of the men and the women that work there, Lord God, will continue to be vessels for you, hands for you, Lord, feet for you, Lord, as they go do these wonderful things, Lord Jesus, that they continue to serve you in that way and that the people will continue to see you in what they're doing. We know, Lord, when they do your work and sing your praises, the world sees you, and we thank you for that, Lord God. Bless each of them, we pray in Jesus' name. Thank you and amen. amen. All right, brother. Appreciate you.